Okay, welcome to Upper College's 3D Modeling Lunchtime Club Tutorial Part 1. Okay, hopefully you've got the sheet in front of you. Um, it's basically just an outline of what's in the window and some questions to go with it. We're going to go through this quite fast, so feel free to pause it whenever you want. Have a play around. You can always press the, the file button at the top. And go down to new and it will return it back to its original screen if you have messed things up too badly. Question one, where do we change into object and edit mode? You'll see down here a little button called object mode. If we click it, we can go up to edit mode. Done. Just like that. You can tell when you're in edit mode because number one, it says edit mode in the bottom. And number two is because our little cube in the middle changes color. Okay? And it goes into a I'll explain how to do that soon. Okay, back to object mode. Done. Number two, how do we drag an object in the Y, the X, and the Z direction? Notice down here there's a little key. A key basically says um, how to identify stuff. Z is blue, straight upwards. Y, the green, in that direction. And X in this direction here. You can grab it and drag it. Okay, we can grab the red one, the X direction, that way. It's like a rail car and it's getting stuck on one single line. And then the Z, blue, pointing straight upwards. Done. Number three. How can we change the grab arrows to size arrows, otherwise known as scale arrows, or rotate circles? See these arrows here? They match a little thing down the bottom, like that. That little arrow. If we can go across one, it says rotate manipulator tool. The little box comes up just down below. Okay, and it gives us a good clue about what's going to happen. If we click that, it starts turning into circles. If we grab the red one, for example, and start turning it around, our cube can turn around in circles. Good stuff. It's almost like see the the X line there? It's almost like we've stuck a pin right through the cube along the X line and we're spinning it around. That's what we call an axis. It's this axis of rotation. Alright, Z pointing straight upwards. Now the line pointing straight upwards is the pin we've stuck through it and we're rotating it around that. Right here. Y, the Y, right there. Okay, moving on. The one next to that, down the bottom, it goes from like arrow, grab, curvy line, rotate, and the next one it says it's a scale manipulator. Scale or size. Okay, so basically you're changing the scale or changing the size in one direction. Here I'm dragging it out that way. Okay, here I'm dragging it up that way. And this way I'm dragging it sideways. So I'm going to go back to file, new. If I wanted to make a building, I'd grab my size scale manipulator, I'll drag it upwards, whoosh, making it as tall as I want, and I might drag it that way too, making it as wide as I want. Voila, I have a building. Next one, question four says this, if I want to copy, otherwise known as duplicate an object, what button do I press? Well, there's two options here. Have a look at the side. There's a button that says duplicate. If I click that with my left mouse button, I have gone through and I've taken my object, I've moved it away. Okay, I'm going to go through and do it again. Duplicate. I'm moving it and where I, when I've got it, where I want to put it, I click again and there it is. Notice the orange rectangle around the outside. That tells me that I've got that object selected and if I duplicate it, I'm going to move that object around. Click to put it in its right place. Right. Number five, if I want to select an object, which mouse button do I press? Good point. I've got this one here with this orange rectangle around it, meaning it has been selected. If I want to select something else, I've got a number of options here. If my mouse has got two buttons on it, I can right click, right click, and I now have this object here selected. Right click, that one selected, right click. That one's selected. Right click my camera, that's what that thing there is, selected. See that little black thing? 
right click that's my light bulb I need my light bulb selected okay if your mouse button sorry if your mouse does not have a right mouse button we do have another option now this would be in the case of in the labs at Upper Raymond College some of our mice our mouses do not have a right mouse button so what we do is we press our command key on our keyboard okay that's the CMD I think it's otherwise known as the Apple key and if we hold that key down and we click with our mouse button our one and only mouse button then we can select different objects command click command click command click command CMD as well as written on the mouse button we're stopping it there that's the end of part one very short we'll come back to part two very shortly